What's up everybody, it's Chris Happy here again. So I did the video on how to get bearings into these famous wheels super easy. So I figured it was only right that I give the wheels a bit of a review. And I figured what better place to do it than the exact reason I needed the most speed I could get, which is this ramp right behind me. Uh, as you can see, there's a kicker set up that's about four feet taller than our usual ramps. And that's what I needed the extra speed for. Uh, practice is about to start. So I'm gonna give these their first roll. Let's see how they go. All right, so all I've done so far is roll around on flat ground in the parking lot. But these wheels are already feeling faster than kind of any other wheel I've ever ridden. So I'm pretty stoked to get on this ramp right now. First hit on these things. Let's see how they go. Get happy. Benatro Circus. Practice on. Next level right now. Give me the big one. Holy shit! Whoa! Whoa. Alright, so apparently the ramp's running fast today, but far out, those that was fast. <laughs> That's definitely the best that ramp's ever felt. So let's keep this practice going. So I just wrapped up the first practice uh, with the famous wheels. Um, there was some f a few other variables today. There was a tailwind and the ramp, the gap was a bit shorter than usual. So uh, it was running fast for everyone. So it's a little hard to tell when there's that many things different. But even with that said, I can definitely tell there's a huge difference, um, not only with the speed, but with the grip. Uh, so on the resi, they grip way better, which I think will help with landing some tricks that before maybe I would slip out. Uh, these kind of are grabbing a bit more so uh, yeah all right so that was kind of my initial thoughts after that first practice session on these wheels um, now that I've got another practice session and two shows under my belt with them I wanted to kind of jump more in depth into those thoughts um, I mean first up is speed speed is why I bought these wheels and they 100% delivered um, a little backstory on that ramp it's not that I could never hit it before, it's just that the conditions had to be absolutely perfect. And even when they were perfect, I felt like I was pushing through the lip and kind of reaching for the sweet spot, not really popping off the lip and kind of comfortably coming down in the sweet spot. Um, these wheels definitely gave me the ability to do that. When the conditions were ideal, um, I basically had to do nothing, just roll in, pop off the lip, land in the sweet spot. And in our second show, we ended up with a headwind and I was able to just kind of take a few pushes, pump the roll in, still pop and land in the sweet spot, which is huge for me to be able to ride that ramp in varied conditions. Uh, so super stoked on that. Another thing speed wise I was able to do is hit the 50 foot gap from the shorter roll in, which usually is only possible if there's a massive tailwind. So it was pretty cool just to kind of have some fun with that. There was a few clips uh, uh, from practice of me doing that. And, um, yeah, so uh, another thing I mentioned was grip. Uh, the resi on that lander is basically just a huge piece of plastic. So landing's always been hard. Uh, it's kind of a gift and a curse. It doesn't hurt as bad when you fall, but it makes landing much harder. Uh, but these definitely, uh, even landing a little off center a few times, I was able to kind of keep my balance and stay on my feet rather than just kind of sliding straight out. So super impressed there. Um, and then durability is another thing. So. I don't know if you can really see, but the line is still kind of on the middle of these wheels. And um, yeah, the, the graphics are coming off a tiny bit, but that's just cosmetic. Another thing I do to wheels pretty quickly a lot of times is flat spot them, uh, front side set sliding to slow down before I hit the stop bag. And I don't see any signs of wear even, let alone flat spots. So super impressed there. Um, 
that's all I can really comment on in terms of surfaces and, and riding and durability and stuff like that. I didn't ride any rough street or anything like that, but I am really interested to see kind of how they hold up uh, on different surfaces. So uh, maybe I'll uh, follow up on this after I've ridden them other places. Uh, but for now, uh, I would 100% recommend these wheels if you are looking for a super fast, grippy skate park wheel. Um, I mean, they are quite expensive, so you'd have to be really wanting that. But if that's what you're looking for, uh, you will definitely get that out of these wheels. Um, that's kind of all she wrote on the review side of things. There's a few bonus GoPro clips right after this from the rest of that practice session and the two shows I rode over the weekend. Um, but yeah, had fun doing this, so we'll probably see you back here on this channel again soon. Just roll in. Yeah. All right, yeah. guys, happy 